hello everyone good morning so you guys will probably be getting this video um tomorrow i'm recording it today but you guys are actually going to get it tomorrow because i want you guys to kind of enjoy your weekend as well and i'm i'm enjoying my weekend you know getting refreshed um resting things like that so i kind of wanted um you guys to enjoy your sunday as well um but you guys will be getting two videos from me you're going to get this video where we're going to be reading psalms 31 through 39 also, we're going to read um, in this video a few scriptures on peace just to encourage you. And then at the end, we will do a few confessions. Um, and then in the next video, we're going to read um, a few chapters from the book of John, like um, chapters 14 through 17. So um, let's begin reading, guys. This is a part of our April Bible study. Our theme for this month is peace and prosperity. God is good. Um, and just a quick disclaimer. If you guys um, hear my stomach growl, I'll be done ate a couple of times when, by the time y'all watch this video. But it's pretty early um, on Sunday morning now and I haven't eaten yet, so which is fine. But I'm just saying if y'all hear my stomach growling, that's what that is. But let's get into prayer. I have been praying for you all, but let's get into prayer as far as the video and just dive in. Lord God, I thank you. We thank you, Lord. We give you glory, God. We thank you, God, for blessing our Bible study in our time today, God. We thank you for a blessed day today, a great upcoming week. We thank you for all that your hands have done for us in the past, even what it's presently doing and what it will do. We give you glory, thanks, and praise in advance, God, and we worship you. And I just thank you, Lord, for the people that are tuning into this Bible study, that they will get something out of this video today, God, that is going to um, draw them closer to you and encourage and uplift and edify their spirit, God, and give them peace. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So Psalms 31 is further direct of music, a Psalm of David. It says, in you, O Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Turn your ear to me. Come quickly to my rescue. Be my rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. Since you are my rock and my fortress, for the sake of your name, lead and guide me. Free me from the trap that is set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Redeem me, O Lord, the God of truth. I hate those who cling to worthless idols. I trust in the Lord. Somebody release that with me. I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your love, for you saw my affliction and knew the anguish of my soul. You have not handed me over to the enemy, but have set my feet in a spacious place. Somebody receive that. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for I am in distress. My eyes grow weak with sorrow, my soul and my body with grief. My life is consumed by anguish and my years by groaning. My strength fails because of my affliction or guilt and my bones grow weak. Because of all my enemies, I am the utter contempt of my neighbors. I am a dread to my friends. Those who see me on the street flee from me. I am forgotten by them as though I were dead. I have become like broken pottery for I hear the slander of many. There is terror on every side. They conspire against me and plot to take my life. But I trust in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. Somebody confess that even over your own situation. My times are in your hands. <clears throat> Excuse me. Deliver me from my enemies and from those who pursue me. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your unfailing love. Let me not be put to shame, O Lord, for I've cried out to you. But let the wicked be put to shame and lie silent in the grave. Let their lying lips be silenced, for with pride and contempt they speak arrogantly against the righteous. How great is your goodness, which you have stored up for those who fear you, which you bestow in the sight of men on those who take refuge in you. In the shelter of your presence you hide them from the entries of men, in your dwelling you keep them safe from accusing tongues. Praise be to the Lord, for he showed his wonderful love to me when I was in a besieged city. In my alarm, I said, I'm cut off from your sight, yet you heard my cry for mercy when I called to you for help. Love the Lord, all his saints. The Lord preserves the faithful, but the proud he pays back in full. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. Amen. So now let's go to Psalms 32. It's of David. It's a masculine, and we see in the footnotes what that's saying. It says, blessed is he who trans whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord does not count against him, and in whose spirit is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away. 
through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. Selah, which is like pause, reflect, meditate on this. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Selah. Therefore, let everyone who is godly pray to you while you may be found. Surely when the mighty waters rise, they will not reach him. I'm going to have to get my water soon. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Selah. Give me one second, y'all, to get some water. All right, awesome sauce. So I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. Do not be like the horse or the mule, which have no understanding, but must be controlled by bit and brittle, or they will not come to you. Many are the woes of the wicked, but the Lord's unfailing love surrounds the man who trusts in him. Rejoice in the Lord. And be glad you righteous, seeing all you who are upright in heart. So now let's get into Psalms 33. Sing joyfully to the Lord, you righteous. It is fitting for the upright to praise him. Praise the Lord with the harp. Make music to him on the 10 screen lyre. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully and shout for joy. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. The Lord loves justice. I'm sorry thinking about my son because that's his name justice and because my eyes went straight there are two justice but let's start over with five the lord loves righteousness and justice the earth is full of his unfailing love by the word of the lord were the heavens made their starry hosts by the breath of his mouth okay my bible kind of it's an older one so it's kind of like like this so that's what that is okay their starry hosts by the breath of his mouth he gathers the waters of the sea into jars or sea as into a heap in a. He puts the deep into storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the people of the world revere him. For he spoke and it came to thee. He commanded and it stood firm. The Lord foils the plans of the nations. He thwarts the purposes of the peoples. But the plans of the Lord stand firm forever. The purposes of his heart throughout, through all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he chose for his inheritance. From heaven, the Lord looks down and sees all mankind. From his dwelling place, he watches all who live on earth. He who forms the hearts of all who considers everything they do. No king is saved by the size of his army. Come on, somebody. No warrior escapes by his great strength. A horse is a vain hope for deliverance. Despite all his great strength, it cannot save. But the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him on those whose hope is in his unfailing love to deliver them from death and keep them alive in famine. We wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. May your unfailing love rest upon us, O Lord, even as we put our hope in you. And I speak that over each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. So now let's get into Psalms 34. Amen a notification and guys something really great is getting ready to happen i want y'all to receive that i've been praying that over you guys and i feel that um spiritually as well that god is going to do some great things for his people you know just look and live keep your faith and hope and trust in god everybody's seasons and times in life and journey is different but what connect us is our faith in jesus you know and God, see that. Look and live. Like, just expect great things in the midst of this pandemic and the evil and all that's going on in this world. Look and live. God have his people. He had us before he'll have us again. You know, that's no question if he gonna have us. He got us. That's no question at all. So just keep the faith and know that God have eyes on you and great things is getting ready to happen. It, it is. So Psalms 34a, it said, tells you in the footnotes about the acoustic poem. Okay, so this is um, a Psalm of David when he pretended to be insane before Abimelech, who drove him away, he left. I will extol or bless the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. My soul will boast in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Somebody need to speak that over your own life. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. 
This poor man called and the Lord heard him. He saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. Somebody release that and he delivers them. Somebody make it personal say, and he delivers me. Somebody even go another step further and say, and he delivered me. Come on, say so. Look, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his saints. For those who fear him lack nothing. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Whoever of you loves life and desires to see many good days, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil to cut off the memory of them from the earth. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. A righteous man may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. He protects all his bones. Not one of them will be broken. Evil will slay the wicked. The foes of the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems his servants. No one will be condemned who takes refuge in him. Amen. So now let's get into Psalms 35. Y'all feel free, excuse me, to let me know what y'all um, are getting up out of these these videos in the comment section. I'm getting a lot of feedback from you guys, mostly on email and text. Um, but some of you do comment in the comment section. And I appreciate that. So let me know what you guys are getting out of this video and what, you know, what is, what is God's word saying to you that you would like to share? What are you getting out of it? I would love to know. So Psalms 35 is also of David. It says, contend, O Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take up shield and buckler. Arise and come to my aid. Brandish spear and javelin. And that in the footnotes or it's like, or in block the way against those who pursue me say to my soul i am your salvation may those who seek my life be disgraced and put to shame may those who plot my ruin be turned back in dismay may they be like chaff before the wind with the angel of the lord driving them away may their path be dark and slippery with the angel of the lord pursuing them since they hid their net for me without cause and without cause dug a pit for me May ruin overtake them by surprise. May the net they hid entangle them. May they fall into the pit to their ruin. Then my soul will rejoice in the Lord and delight in his salvation. My whole being will exclaim, Who is like you, O Lord? You rescue the poor from those too strong for them, the poor and needy from those who rob them. Ruthless witnesses come forward. They question me on things I know nothing about. They repay me evil for good and leave my soul forlorn. Yet when they were ill, I put on sackcloth and humbled myself with fasting. But my prayers returned to me unanswered. I went about mourning as though for my friend or brother. I bowed my head in grief as though weeping for my mother. But when I stumbled, they gathered in glee. Attackers gathered against me when I was unaware. They slandered me without season. Like the ungodly, they maliciously mocked. And you see in the footnotes what it's saying. They gnashed their teeth at me. O oh Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue my life from their ravages, my precious life from these lions. I will give you thanks in the great assembly. Among thrones of people, I will praise you. Let not those gloat over me who are my enemies without cause. Let not those who hate me without reason maliciously wink the eye. They do not speak peaceably, but devise false accusations against those who live quietly in the land. Sorry, guys, because I'm trying to do it so I can. Okay. They gape at me and say, aha, aha, with our own eyes, we have seen it. Oh, Lord, you have seen this. Be not silent. Do not be far from me, oh, Lord. Awake and rise to my defense. Contend for me, my God and Lord. Vindicate me in your righteousness, O oh Lord, my God. Do not let them gloat over me. Do not let them think, aha, just what we wanted or say we have swallowed him up. May all who gloat over my distress be put to shame and confusion. May all who exalt themselves over me be clothed with shame and disgrace. May those who delight in my vindication shout for joy and gladness. May they always say, the Lord be exalted. Who delights in the well-being of his servant. My tongue will speak of your righteousness and of your praises all day long. Amen. So let's do um, Psalms 36 and then we have a few more after this. 
for the Psalms for today. So Psalms 36 is for the direct of music of David, the servant of the Lord. An oracle is within my heart concerning the sinfulness of the wicked. And I'm just going to put it like this so y'all can see in the footnotes. But it's saying, there is no fear of God before his eyes, for in his own eyes, he flatters himself too much to detect or hate his sin. The words of his mouth are wicked and deceitful. He has ceased to be wise and to do good. Even on his bed, he plots evil. He commits himself to a sinful course and does not reject what is wrong. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens. Your faithfulness to the skies. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains. Your justice like the great deep. O Lord, you preserve both men and beasts. How priceless is your unfailing love. Both high and low among men find refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house. You give them drink from your river of delights. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Continue your love to those who know you, your righteousness to the upright in heart. May the foot of the proud not come against me, nor the hand of the wicked drive me away. See how the evil doers lie fallen, thrown down, not able to rise. Amen. So let's do Psalms 37. See in the footnotes, let's talk about it's an acrostic poem. Okay, and it's a Psalm of David. So it says, do not fret because of evil men or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither. Like green plants, they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will do this. He will make your righteousness shine like the dawn, the justice of your cause like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when men succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret. It leads only to evil. For evil men will be cut off, but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. Somebody need to receive that. A little while and the wicked will be no more. Though you look for them, they will not be found. But the meek will inherit the land and enjoy great peace. Somebody say great peace. The wicked plot against the righteous and gnash their teeth at them. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he knows their day is coming. The wicked draw the sword and bend the bow to bring down the poor and needy to slay those whose ways are upright. But their swords will pierce their own hearts and their bows will be broken. Better the little that the righteous have than the wealth of many wicked. For the power of the wicked will be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. Somebody decree and declare that say, God upholds me. The day of the blameless are known, the days of the blameless are known to the Lord and their inheritance will endure forever. In times of disaster, they will not wither. In days of famine, they will enjoy plenty. I speak that over each and every one of y'all in Jesus name. Amen. You're not going to wither. We know Psalms 1 is our foundational scripture for this month. And in days of famine, hard times, trials, you're going to enjoy plenty. Right, we've been talking about that the last couple of days. Videos prior before all this as well, but specifically for this month in time, we've been talking about that as well. So, but the wicked will perish. The Lord's enemies will be like the beauty of the fields. They will vanish, vanish like smoke. The wicked borrow and do not repay, but the righteous give generously. Those the Lord blesses will inherit the land, but those he curses will be cut off. If the Lord delights in the man's way, he makes his steps firm. Though he stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. I was young, and now I am old. Yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. They are always generous and live freely. Their children will be blessed. That is a scripture that I um, speak over myself. Um, Psalms 37 is a scripture. A lot of these Psalms are scriptures that I've been speaking over myself for years, but that's Psalms 37, 25 through 26. I speak that over me. I speak it over my son. You know, I speak it over different areas of my life and it, it proves true. Turn from evil and do good. Then you will dwell in the land forever. For the Lord loves the just and will not forsake his faithful ones. They will be protected forever, but the offspring of the wicked will be cut off. The righteous will inherit the land and dwell in it forever. The mouth of the righteous man utters wisdom. Somebody say wisdom. And his tongue speaks what is just. The law of his God is in his heart. His feet do not slip. The wicked lie in wait for the righteous seeking their very lives. But the Lord will not leave them in their power or let them be condemned when brought to trial. Wait for the Lord and keep his way. 
He will exalt you to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, you will see it. I have seen a wicked and ruthless man flourishing like a green tree in his native soil, but he soon passed away and was no more. Though I looked for him, he could not be found. Consider the blameless, observe the upright. There is a future or there will be posterity in the footnotes, right? For the man of peace. But all sinners will be destroyed. The future or posterity um, of the wicked will be cut off. And we're going to close, guys, in like another eight minutes or less. The salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in times of trouble. Let me pause it real quick, guys. I'm sorry for the pauses, but this is real life, real time reading. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. But just bear with me and then we're going to continue on, okay? I'm sorry about that. I had to get some more water. Okay, so I want to go back up to 39. So the salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in time of trouble. The Lord helps them and delivers them he delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him amen so let's do two more psalms psalms 38 is a psalm of david it's a petition it says oh lord do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath for your arrows have pierced me and your hand has come down upon me because of your wrath there is no health in my body my bones have no soundness because of my sin my guilt has overwhelmed me like a burden too heavy to bear my wounds fester. And you know, Apostle John Eckhart, I've been listening to his ministry for about four years plus. He did a teaching on the bones of this Psalms 38 is speaking to you. He did he do he do a lot of um powerful teachings and prayers and different things. Um it has blessed me over the last four plus years or so. Um, but he did a teaching on the bones. I don't know why I feel led to say that for someone, but if you YouTube his name and put bones, it'll come up or just his channel. And you guys can be encouraged by that if you're not already um, listening or following him. But let's keep reading. So um says, my guilt has over, I just felt like this, to say that for somebody. So my guilt has overwhelmed me like a burden too heavy, to, too heavy to bear. My wounds fester and are loathsome because of my sinful folly. I am bowed down and brought very low. All day long I go about mourning. <coughs> Excuse me, my back is filled with searing pain. There's no health in my body. I'm feeble and utterly crushed. I groan in anguish of heart. All my longings lie open before you, O Lord. My sighing is not hidden from you. My heart pounds. My strength fails me. Even the light has gone from my eyes. My friends and companions avoid me because of my wounds. My neighbors stay far away. Those who seek my life set their traps. Those who will harm me talk of my ruin all day long. They plot deception. I'm like a deaf man who cannot hear, like a mute who cannot open his mouth. I have become like a man who does not hear, whose mouth can offer no reply. I wait for you, O Lord. You will answer me, O Lord, my God. For I said, do not let them gloat or exalt themselves over me with my foot slips. For I'm about to fall and my pain is ever with me. I confess my iniquity. I'm troubled by my sin. Many are those who are my vigorous enemies. Those who hate me without reason are numerous. Those who repay my good with evil slander me when I pursue what is good. Oh, Lord, do not forsake me. Be not far from me. Oh, my God. Come quickly to help me. Oh, Lord, my Savior. So let's do Psalms 39 for the director of music for Jeduthun, a Psalm of David. Okay, it says, I said I will watch my ways and keep my tongue from sin. I will put a muzzle on my mouth as long as the wicked are in my presence. But when I was silent and still, not even saying anything good, my anguish increased. My heart grew hot within me, and as I meditated, the fire burned. Then I spoke with my tongue. Show me, O Lord, my life's end and the number of my days. Let me know how fleeting is my life. You have made my days a mere hand breath. The span of my years is as nothing before you. Each man's life is but a breath. Selah. Man is a mere phantom as he goes to and fro. He bustles about, but only in vain. He heaps up wealth, not knowing who will get it. But now, Lord, what, what do I look for? For my hope is in you. Somebody confess that my hope is in you. Save me from all my transgressions. Do not make me the scorn of fools. I was silent. I would not open my mouth, for you are the one who has done this. Remove your scourge from me. I am overcome by the blow of your hand. You rebuke and discipline men for their sin. You consume their wealth like a moth. Each man is but a breath. Selah. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cry for help. Be not deaf to my weeping, for I dwell with you as an alien, a stranger, as all my fathers were. Look away from me that I may rejoice again before I depart and am no more. 
So, okay, let me, that's a lot of notification. So let's focus with this, guys. Those are all the Psalms for today. Um, let's do our um, confessions, and then we're going to get into um, the scriptures. I want you guys to confess this with me. I'm going to put the phone down now so that I can look at this paper because, you know, holding the phone and recording in with the Bible sometimes, you know, so let me put it down. But um, I want you guys to confess this along with me. God is blessing the works of my hands and causing me to prosper in all areas of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Confess that with me. This is what the Lord had me write this morning for this video for you all. The next confession we're going to confess, and we have a lot of confessions and prayers on here on the line, um, on the video, subscription box, playlist. So be encouraged by those if you need um, some more encouragement with that. But our next one is, I am blessed. Our next confession and our last confession for this video is, God's peace rules and reigns in me. God's peace rules and reigns in me. His, his peace reigns in you. His peace reigns on you. God's peace rules and reigns within me. God's peace rules and reigns throughout my life. Come on. His, his peace rules and reigns in every area of your life in Jesus name. Amen. So guys, um, I don't think we're going to have time to read all the scriptures. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you guys the scriptures. Um, the scriptures are Colossians. These are the scriptures on peace. I'll probably just leave them below in the description box, but at least I can give them to you in the video. I want you guys to meditate on these scriptures, confess them. And like I said, I'm going to type them out below in the description box. When I upload this, I'll probably be um, asleep by the time y'all get it. But I'm going to, when I upload it um, later on tonight, like going into tomorrow, um, I'll just put it in the description box. Some of them we have read before, but Colossians 3.15 is one of them. If you want to write that down, you can write Colossians 3.15. Um, Galatians 5.22 is the next one. And then Hebrews 12.14 is the next one. Um, and you guys be blessed. The reason why I say I'm not going to read them is because the thing's going to cut off in like 28 minutes something. And I have to literally flip through the Bible to these and then read them so I know we won't have enough time. But um, I love you guys. God bless. I'm now going to record the video on John. With the John Bible reading, we did do a John Bible study series and we did read um, a lot of these videos aside from that playlist. So um, be encouraged by that as well. But um, God bless and thanks for joining.